to the second part of casting a multiplier reel. Now let's just recap quickly in the first section. What we did was just concentrating on the basics to get your memory, muscle memory and your thumb and your arms ready to cast so you can get used to controlling your reel. Very important, before you start swinging or trying to cast hard, that is the most important. So let's just go through what we did in the first one, your left foot pointing in the direction you want to cast. Your right foot you put behind it like that, your leader knot away from where you're going to hold the spool. So yeah, it's a bit close, I'll move it just now to that side so you can hold it there. You release at 11 o'clock, you pull down with your left arm while you're pushing with your right arm and you're casting as if you're casting 45 degrees into the air. You never look at the water where you're going to cast, you're looking up 45 degrees and that's where you're going to cast. Now, before we get into swinging, uh, before we get into swinging your sinker and casting where you'll get more distance, and that takes practice as well, that's why it's so important to get your thumb control, your line control, right before you start swinging, otherwise you're just going to frustrate yourself terribly. Okay? Um, remember your, your uh, spool control you use as well? Eventually you start releasing that so it's looser and uh, so your reel can spin faster and that's when you've got proper line control. Then you can start doing that so it really runs freely as you can see. Another just hint guys when you start spinning this reel fast, I mean, in other words when you start casting harder and this thing starts spinning properly, make sure it's always wet because it will burn your thumb. So either a bottle of water or just take some sea water and wet your spool. Okay, now let's just talk quickly about the reels on the market rod. I'm using the 1423 Saltus rod, Dawa. It's a multiplier rod. Perfect for sliding, targeting bigger fish, medium fish. Very nice, versatile rod. And then guys, we, we know in the market your old uh, Saltigas, your previous Saltigas and your Grand Wave reels, Dawa Grand Wave reels was your long distance casting the reels by far the spools spin fantastically fast so you can really cast those reels but since they brought out the new saltiga it's a new bracket of spinning um, this reel really spins and this can cast a mile so make sure your thumb and line control is 100 percent before you start putting power now what i'm going to cover today guys is just getting into that extra power you're going to get um, let's just cover the basics of swinging, alright? When we swing a sinker, the whole idea is when that, when that sinker is out 100% straight, that's when you're going to come through. Not halfway there, not on its way back, it's practice and practice until it's 100% straight and that's when you have to come through. Alright, now to get that right, what I want you guys to understand first is what it feels like when that is 100% straight and you connect it because then this reel spins so it's something to get used to so in the part two of casting all I want you to do is two steps remember everything from part one pulling with your left arm pushing with your right arm head up 45 degrees aiming 45 degrees left foot pointing in the direction you want to cast lead a knot on the opposite side of your thumb and making sure your lines a bit wet and uh, I'm quickly going to wet my spool and then I'll show you Alright guys, step one, I'm going to put the sink out in a straight line. I've got a nice drop, a little over half of my rod's length, and that's a good length to start off with. You push it out, you point your rod tip exactly there where the sink is, elbow up as you can see. So over, what you're going to do, you're going to do everything we did in, in, in the first one, and just bring it through. Worried about the surface out there. Gonna get this one of them on the head. But immediately by doing that, you'll feel the additional spin on your reel. Because there's more power now. It is fetching that sinker in a straight line with the rod. So when you come through, you get that additional power that actually brings it through. So let's do that again. Just maybe aim. A bit more that way. I'm 
just getting my line wet a bit. And it's not a bad idea to, to wet your rod tip. Okay. I'm just going to do it one more time. Just in a straight line. Keep your posture right. Elbow up. Looking 45 degrees. And come through and release at 45. Release at 11 o'clock. But push it into 45 degrees. And that's what you want to do. And get your thumb and your hand used to controlling this reel then. In the first one, I showed you guys just to hold it like this. Your sinker not touching the ground. 100% level. And you start casting like that. The difference is now, you've got more leverage. You're casting from the bottom there. Alright? And your line, your sinker straight up. So by coming over now, you're just putting a, a lot more power into the cast and the spin is a lot more. Now once you've done a whole bunch of those casts, getting used to the spin on your reel, you practice that over and over again until you get used to it properly. Then you can start looking at moving your body out a bit. I'm going to show you how to do that. Simply do exactly the same, but then I'm going to move my lower body a bit forward. Keep my top, my shoulders where they are. And then you can really put power in the cast. And uh, then it really starts spinning. That's why I say just get used to the initial spin off the ground. And once you got that underhand, then you move to what I just mentioned now. 